Are Canadians getting tired of immigration? A new poll from Leger says a majority of Canadians now think this country is letting in too many people. And to talk about this, we're now joined by Christian Bork, Executive Vice President for Leger. Christian, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. So let's begin with how Canadians are feeling uh, generally uh, about immigration right now. This country welcomed uh, something like 437,000 immigrants in 2022, plans to welcome 465,000 this year, half a million by 2025. Are Canadians supportive of that plan? Less and less. Um, we've been measuring the same variable. Are, is Canada admitting or should they, we admit more immigrants, the same amount or fewer immigrants in, in the next year? Um, it used to be that about 30% of Canadians would say we're admitting too many immigrants. Now we're up to 48%. And when we actually uh, uh, spell out the exact number of immigrants uh, we are supposed to, uh, to welcome in the next year, which are the levels that were announced by the government of Canada, then it's actually 53% of Canadians who say that's too many. Um, so the trend is moving in that direction of Canadians feeling more and more uh, that we are letting in too many uh, uh, immigrants each year. So why that level of pushback? You know, the government makes this argument mm -hmm. that we, we need higher immigration numbers to uh, meet a shortage of workers, to pay taxes, support Canadians as the population ages, not to mention uh, Canada's declining birth rate. Do people not see the value in bringing in more immigrants to Canada? Well, the difference between what we used to measure on, on, on this topic and what we're seeing today is now there are sort of mixed feelings about immigration. What you've just mentioned are they great for cultural diversity in our country? Yes, 76% of Canadians agree with that. Uh, are they good uh, uh, in terms of ensuring population growth uh, in the context of an aging population? Massive majority of Canadians feel exactly the same way. Uh, do they have a positive impact on our tax base? Yes, people agree. Where there is an issue now, and this is new uh, of, of the last couple of years and certainly post-pandemic, is Three quarters of Canadians say that immigration are now or immigration is contributing to our housing crisis and to the availability of, of affordable household uh, uh, or housing in Canada. So that's the new aspect, this this potentially negative impact that immigration may have on our economy and certainly our access to affordable housing. Okay, so so based on that, then, if the economy were to improve, if housing start programs actually improve the, the housing stock numbers out there, do you see these numbers becoming more positive towards immigration or is this beyond economic? Is there an attitude that's settling in? Not really. I, I don't believe that there is, because what we're seeing in the survey is it's it, it's not negative news about immigrants. It's negative perspectives on the impact of immigration on our economy. So if economic in indicators were to improve, potentially Canadians would want to go back to this sort of welcoming country that, you know, please come in. Uh, even in the questionnaire, when we ask about, you know, uh, Ukrainian uh, refugees that came in uh, uh, with the uh, emergency status, should we welcome them now as immigrants into Canada? Uh, and a majority of Canadians say yes. So they want Canada to be a welcoming country. But right now, because of the affordable, uh, affordability crisis that we're in, uh, some Canadians are actually questioning the impact of immigration on our economy and ultimately on their own pocketbooks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So so almost a bread and butter issue up against uh, this yeah. idea of what Canadians want this country to be. But, you know, Christian, Absolutely. what's what's also interesting when I was looking at the numbers was it's not one region versus another region on this. There seems to be a, a consistency as to how Canadians are feeling coast to coast to coast. Yeah, it used to be when we measured this 5, 10, 15 years ago, Quebecers were a bit more tentative when it when it came to immigration levels. And a large part of it was explained by sort of this, this uh, um, I would say fear of losing their language and culture, the sort of fear uh, of the survival of the French language, uh, which of course was not present in the rest of the country. Now what we're seeing is that there are no regional differences when it comes to should we welcome more, fewer, uh, or the same uh, uh, amount of immigrants, because basically now it's about economics uh, and the economics behind our immigration policy, uh, not some other social factor that may be explaining regional differences. Well, very interesting numbers to look at. Certainly will be interesting to see the type of reaction it gets here in Ottawa. Uh, Christian Polk, thank you very much for the time tonight. Anytime.